Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix Online Meeting 179, November 7th, rolling our way into the end of the year. Ah, it's getting a little crisp and cool here, which is a very nice time to stay inside and write a whole lot of code. Uh, as always, those meetings are, these meetings are recorded for those of you that are not with us right here, right now. Uh, I think we're going to have a short meeting today. Took a quick look at what we're doing, triage, questions and comments, and I think our triage is going to be pretty, pretty small. So we'll do any questions, comments, people, things people want to talk about after that. Uh, but let's go jump into triage. Uh, particularly quiet, uh, given the fact that uh, we were gone two weeks ago, that we skipped two weeks ago. Anyway, uh, Bob, ready? I hope you're not complaining, and yes, I'm ready. I'm not complaining. It's kind of nice to be nice and stable here for a bit. It allows us to focus on Wix 4 instead of... Well, usually, well, these bugs all Wix 3. Um, also, hopefully you heard Bob, because I think we solved all the audio issues before this meeting. So, uh, we're skipping the first one, because that's still a point of discussion that we need to have. And this is a CI build. This is a Bob bug. I don't remember this. Um, uh, oh, this is, is this up to, this is fixed? Hmm. No. No. Actually, I have no idea why that is in there, that reference. Um, okay. I have no idea why that is in there. All right. Uh, later oh. compiler, things like that. To do. It's Traditionally, that's what we've done is we've always supported, we've built on the latest version of Visual Studio, and we've supported going back. Mm -hmm. uh, we started changing that uh, later in Wix 3, um, where we just we basically just require the latest. That's the assumption that everything other than the native libraries is going to be built with the latest version. Um, what I'd like to do is switch again to the latest version of Visual Studio, and then uh, uh, you know where necessary use the the specific support in VS 2019 to target. Uh, earlier versions. I see. Do we lose XP doing this? Uh, yes, as we should. Yeah. So I guess that's just kind of the final decision, right? Is are we dumping XP support, <laughs> which has been out of service now for how long? Yeah, years. So and Windows so Seven is about to go out of support in like you know three months. So. Right. So Wix 4, this is Wix 4, presumably. That's the only CI build I know of. Yep. Then we are not, then Wix 4 would not support XP. Yep. Wix 4 should not support XP. I'll go ahead and say that. It, it, especially uh, since one of the goals here is to you know, make it easier for people to get into a Wix build, uh, you know, requiring the XP support, you know, first of all, it means uh, that, you know, you're, you pretty much require VS 2017. You can still install XP support on 2019, but it's officially deprecated. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, why would people install that if they don't need it? So uh, if we just, again, hey, the latest version of Visual Studio, and if there's C++ code, you need, you know, the default C++, uh, support or workflow, whatever they call it. Um, workload. Workload, yeah, whatever. Um, it, the biggest one for me is that Windows Target Platform version uh, is a property you can set in your C++ project to say, give me the whatever version of the Windows SDK, Windows 10 SDK, is on this machine. So that way we don't have to do anything special to automatically support uh, yeah, the various versions of the Windows SDK as they keep updating in point releases of VS 2019. Right. And we don't really care about which version we're using in general since our uses are pretty simple. So it's just a matter of keeping the build machine up to date with Windows 10 SDKs. All right. Well, it's not even that. I mean, the, the advantage of that property is that 
the tool set uh, targets files automatically give us whatever is on the machine. Right. So, yeah, the build machine or, you know, uh, the CI build machine, uh, which currently is hosted, uh, you know, we, we wouldn't have to make any changes. Right. And again, th this is the, you know, uh, it, it just means that we don't have to, we can reduce the number of instructions needed to work with Wix, needed to build Wix. So, yes. And unfortunately, this particular, you know, this particular property is only supported in later tool sets. So, no more XPSP2. I, I can't come up with a reason that we should keep supporting it. I'm just always afraid. XP? Of cutting it. No, don't be afraid. Embrace it. It's dead. It's gone. Wix 3 will continue to exist and support XP for those who need it. All right. I'm fine with that. We, I don't know if we have to do anything. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's going to be surprised that Wix 4 doesn't support Wix or XPSP 2. I mean, seriously. I, I hope not. All right. Um, and, you know, Windows 7 is going on support in a few months anyway, so... Yeah, but it's yep. not... I think it's okay. It's, it's not as gone as XP is, so... That's fair. I, I don't know how to think about Win 7 yet. Okay. Um, this is an interesting bug. I think they finally gave us a text file. No, they didn't? Yes, maybe? Yep, there's an attachment. Where do you see it? Is it just this, I guess? Okay. Um, all right. Somebody should dig into that. We can toss it to four and see if someone wants to dig into it. Sure. So, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's funky. But I don't know why CD would have any problems with it. There's probably some XMLism in here that's not being quite happy about. Data or something. I just don't see it. No, I don't either. Um, but, you know, honestly, in the end, it's not going to be our bug because we're not the part XML parser. Unless we touch the string. I mean, we don't touch the string. So, nah. All right. Somebody to look at it and maybe then send it off to the XML people if that is actually where it is. I don't know. All right. Cool. I think that's everything. Those are pretty small, simple bugs. All right. Anything anybody else wants to talk about? Um, oh, one thing I did that I guess I could mention that I, I've been thinking about doing and after some discussions with some people, um, I have marked the Wix 4 repo, if we go back. Um, this repository will be deleted. It is not where Wix 4 is developed. See this whip. And then down here, pretty clear that um, this isn't where you're supposed to be looking. So go read these other things to go find Wix 4. Because I was getting uh, comments from people asking, well, Wix seems dead because the Wix 4 repo that they're talking about hasn't had progress in years. And it's like, what? Oh, yeah, that repo right. isn't where we make changes. So we should, you know, make it go away. I'm not prepared to delete it because there's still some pull requests that, you know, we should at least, I should at least evaluate the 15 pull requests that are open. I think most of them will go away. Um, and then this reference code, I haven't needed it in a long time, but I'm not sure that we're completely done. Um, so when we are done with it, then we can just delete this whole repo and it'll go away. Can we archive it in the meantime to make it even more obvious? Um, maybe I... Yeah, I'll look into that. I wasn't sure what Archive did to it. Yeah, me, me either. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll look into archiving it. But anyway, I wanted to point that out. Wix 4 is not dead. It is very much uh, just this repository, this Wix 4 repository, is not where Wix 4 is uh, developed. So I want to just make that clear. All right. Anything else going on? Things people want to talk about? No, all right. Quiet day, which is easy. We'll roll on in. I think we're good in two.
two weeks, right? Two weeks is not actually Thanksgiving. Nope. So we'll be back uh, November 21st uh, talking about, I don't know, we'll see what we have in two weeks. Uh, and I guess until then, you guys take it easy. Uh, we're still working on Wix 4. Uh, hope we'll have more information on that soon. Until then, you take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.